Hi guys, it's Cryptic Cinematics, and today we'll be making a pretty nice looking Adobe style logo. So, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is show you what the logo will look like. It's going to look something like this. Uh, so we've got quite a nice sort of lighting effects, and uh, we've got a nice little gradient for the text, and we've got a little drop shadow. So it's nice and simple, but that's the way I like things. But yeah, that's that's what we're going to be making today, and yeah. So you want to open up Photoshop, click File New. Uh, you want to make the width and height 250 and if you can copy the rest of my settings and click OK you then want to um, get some sort of a dark blue color in fact maybe open up the um, the icon so you can actually get a sample of the color so open it open up because I'm going to put a link in the description for this and anyway get your foreground color click the foreground color and you've got your eyedropper tool so you want to click down here where the darkest blue is and you want to close it and you want to alt and backspace to fill it with that nice dark blue and uh, you go f then you want to go filter render lighting effects and you want to put the light somewhere around here uh, yeah I'll do and you wanna make it a little bit wider a lot wider actually yeah look fine um, you then wanna get your text tool and you can use, use whatever font you want but if you wanna make it look like an Adobe logo use Myriad Pro you might wanna use bold if you like uh, <coughs> keep it at 36 for now just see how big it looks I didn't use bold but you can if you like it just kinda give, blends in but in fact no I'm not gonna use bold you you can use bold if you like just experiment I guess so uh, yeah just put it back to normal so regular um, yeah so once you've typed that your initials in or whatever you wanna put in you want to hold down control and press A to select tool and go up here make sure your move tool is selected and or selection tool or whatever and yeah it's a cool move tool and you want to go up here and uh, horizontally and vertically center it then you want to hold down control and press D to deselect and you want to double click the text layer and you want to go you want to go into blending options and you want to click gradient overlay and you want to click the gradient bar you want to double click the black and you want to make the hex CCC CCC give it that kind of light grey little tint at the bottom so once you've got that you want to click drop shadow and you want to make the opacity 50 and simple as that guys that's how you make an Adobe style logo so I'll see you in the next tutorial remember to rate, com I mean thumbs up, comment and subscribe and I'll see you then goodbye